This is one of multiple packet tracer quiz questions. These quizzes are practical and use packet tracer to help you practically verify your knowledge of CCNA topics. In this packet tracer topology, we have two PCs, PC1 and PC2, which are connected to layer two switches. PC1 is connected to a 3650 layer two switch and so is PC2. The switches in turn are connected to ISR routers, which are connected via a serial interface. In this quiz, you need to assume that the devices have just booted. You can simulate this in Packet Tracer by clicking the Power Devices button. So in other words, click here to power cycle the devices. So in this scenario, what's going to happen when PC1 pings PC2 after the devices have just booted up? As you can see in this topology, the interfaces are changing from red to orange to green. Wait for all links to turn green and then answer these questions. When PC1 pings PC2, at which points in the network are ARP messages sent? So will ARP requests and replies be sent at point A, point B, point C, point D, or point E, or all of them? Where are ARP messages used? So what's your answer to that question? Question two, what is the MAC address requested by ARP at point A? So in other words, when PC1 pings PC2, what is the MAC address requested by PC1 at point A? What is the MAC address requested by ARP at point C? What is the MAC address requested by ARP at point E? And for extra credits, you can also answer the question, what is the MAC address requested by ARP at point B and point D? Question five, what is the destination layer two address of the ARP request at point A? So what is the destination MAC address at this point? What is the destination layer two address of the ARP reply at point A? Notice that is different to question five you need to provide the answer for the op request and reply messages. Question seven, what do layer two switches do with op request messages? Assume that you have a single VLAN. Now to help you answer these questions, use packet tracer simulation mode. So start simulation mode and enable packet tracer for op and ICMP and then on PC one, Send a ping to PC2 and use packet tracer simulation mode to answer the questions. So look at the messages that are sent, look at the OSI model information, look at the inbound PDU and outbound PDU information, and then answer these questions. Don't just answer the questions, verify that you're answering the questions correctly by using simulation mode and looking at the actual packets in the network. So can you answer these questions yourself? Download the attached packet tracer file and see if you can answer all these questions yourself or otherwise watch the next video where I answer the questions.